everyone and welcome back. So I have been away for a few days, just uh, having a little break and plus uh, we went to Paris, which I didn't get to film unfortunately because the weather was atrocious. It was like torrential rain. And uh, yeah, so then we got back and it was Olivia's birthday yesterday and uh, it's dad's birthday today. So we're just in the convent doing a little bit of work Basically, we just want to get everything out of this bathroom or the shower room. Mo has already started. So, <laughs> I'm getting all the shower doors off now. I pulled the toilet out earlier. And yeah, uh, we're just going to get everything out so we can cut all the tiles and everything off. So we need to rip the base out and get those taps off. Yeah, we need to, we just uh, have to take this off and uh, this maybe thing. this. We need to yeah, this we're going to get the like taps and those metal bits off, pull them off the wall first. Well, not pull them off, but take them off. This one? No, the metal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then after we can cut around it for the tiles again. Yeah, this, this it's easy. And I want to try and pull the lino up because this is going to be a wet room, isn't it? Well, like all tiled completely. Mm. And I don't think it's a good idea to tile straight onto lino. It needs to come up so we can, because it's concrete floor under there. So yeah, this we can just take pull it, it up. Yeah. yeah, it's not. A, it's a smaller. Uh... Yeah. Surface. I'm not sure about this area. Well, it probably needs tiling all the way through this area, yeah, so we'll have to pull it all up. But yeah, let's get cracking and we'll show you in a bit because I haven't brought my tripod with me stupidly. So we'll get some work done and show you how far we've got. <laughs> I have a present for you. <laughs> yeah. A nice toilet that's uh, rather rusty underneath. <laughs> yeah, so the new fashion here in France is to have a toilet in the dining room. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and how about the shower? Yeah, so why am I just getting all of them bits off? I'm going to try and get the lino up. to make some noise sometimes <laughs> even it's uh, just easy work just oh, doesn't <laughs> work So what have you been doing Mo? Because I've just come in here because you're making an absolute racket. Just I had fun. You had fun did you? Yeah. yeah. Doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so that shower base is actually porcelain. Yeah. So it was very difficult for Mo to get that out. <laughs> but although it looks like it's made a mess, we are actually cutting all that out anyway so it's not a problem we will be left left with uh, just the area that we need to put more plasterboard all of that area so we'll leave that in here for now because I'm not going to be able to help you carry that yeah away. it's very heavy very very heavy maybe you can, can not just throw it through the window oh yeah I'm sure yeah. 
Okay. Having more fun. <laughs> so all the linos up, toilets out, and uh, we did take some of the uh, skirting board out, but this one is really stuck in one area, so we need to get that out in a bit. Yeah, we do it. I've already done it all the way along, but just to that middle part, right there, it does not come off. It's really nailed. Don't know how they put that on, because <laughs> the rest comes off easily. Yeah. No, that end won't come off either. It's really, really stuck. The amazing Mo just find. Oh, they screwed it. It's a screw. It's not the. It's yeah, because the rest was nailed. Uh, so this area will literally be ready to put in the new plasterboard and tile because uh, it will be ready for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, we're just basically going to get it all ready to go, aren't we, Mo? And why Mo's down there? I'm just gonna show you these windows i've never seen anything like it they're humongous for this small little room obviously it wasn't this little room before so look let me zoom out it's huge literally look right out over the whole of the convent has disconnected the tap and now he's closing off the uh, water feed so it can't leak or any water come out if the water does get turned on and then we're gonna cut all of this out because that sink is really stuck on there so there's no point us trying to pull it like smash it off it needs to be cut off and then it's all clear. home now <laughs> it's around five o'clock in the evening and uh, I've got to sort the horses out so I'm gonna quickly do that but I just wanted to show you something quickly something new this cart <laughs> it's looking a little bit sorry for itself at the moment but we brought this for Olivia for her birthday for Elsa because Elsa is um, 
a bit small for us to ride so in order for her to have some exercise we just wanted to get something that we could use to uh, give her some exercise and Olivia really likes the idea of that so we have brought this but it needs a lot of repairing as you can see so what we're going to do is sand the whole thing off all the paint repaint it put a new seat on it like an well we'll keep this seat but we'll just recover it and uh, paint the wheels and yeah it should look good once it's all painted up so that is Elsa's new contraption and it is really light even I can pick it up and pull it around it's really easy so that will be good for her and I'm sure everyone else will enjoy having a little go with Elsa around the well around the forest and around the fields so yeah that's a new project <laughs> as if we haven't got enough already and yeah and there's the girls over there hello i can see already they have gotten rid of their fly masks the little madams hello <laughs> It's really hard to film yourself leading them. Queenie, come on. Come on. Got Elsa following. <laughs> Queenie keeps making a grab for the grass. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Elsa's buggered off. Oh my gold. It's just the ducks. Calm down. Come on, you. <laughs> oh, you nutters. So just here, you can see where Dad's been putting the post in. And that is for Udea. And, uh, yeah, so we're not sure exactly when she's coming. But um, we do need to go and get the wood to build her wall and a stable door. And um, I'm not gonna put rubber matting down for her because the size of her stable, she's gonna need, Queenie, will you stop it? She's gonna need um, like loads of mats, which is gonna cost around 400 euros. So we're gonna concrete the floor for this stable, which is absolutely fine. Um, and it will cost about 100 euros instead of 400, so that's better. Let's just sort you out. Will you eat your dinner? Stop looking at everything. See? You've got your food. I've got nothing else for you. Yeah, so she has got a much bigger stable because, obviously, you've seen her. She's a lot bigger. <laughs> so she has literally got, like, a proper size stable, 14 by 14, there we go. Just we need to uh, get the bits to put down and then, yeah, and then hopefully she'll be coming soon. I'm hoping by the end of the month, but we're not sure yet. So they'll all be together. Queenie, are you going to eat your dinner or are you just going to sniff everything? You know where the good gear is, don't you? Come on back. Good girl. Hey! That's the little madam sorted for the night. Got your fly mask back on. There we carry it. And go, Elsa. Ooh. You take the whole lot before Queenie gets it. That's it. Still got hundreds of flies, but at least I can't get in their eyes. That rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> and they got their little pile of hay over there, which Queenie will be using as a bed later on. Queenie has rolled as well, just now in her mask. So now you're a bit blind. Mm -hmm. 